My name's Josh Dilliman. And I'm Jenny Dilliman. And we own Scott Scuba Service. You're supposed to talk. We were supposed to say how long we've been here. The scuba shop has been a staple here for, we've been here for over 30 years. Um, and it's in Freeport because this was the small town that the old owner grew up in. And because it's it's been a huge success because of we're, we're close to everywhere. You know, this town draws people in because we're close to Pittsburgh, we're close to Butler, we're close to all the other big cities. And folks like to come here as a, you know, a small day trip to come down into shop and to see the town and to come down and learn to scuba. So one of the, the challenges of, of owning this business in this space uh, was the building itself. So the, the main portion of the building was built in the late 1800s. It was summer, mid 1880s. Uh, and then it was actually added on to in the 1950s. Uh, but there was a lot of history with, with the building as well. Before it was a scuba shop, it was a, a five and 10, and um, it was a, a little family owned uh, store before then. They sold all kinds of like hobby stuff and, and things of that nature as well. So um, the, the building definitely has history, but it definitely needs updates as well. Um, it was shortly after we bought it, we, we actually had to put a roof on it um, because if it would rain, you know, the roof would around. leak. So, um, yeah. You Despite know, we, our love of water, I didn't want it on my floors. Right. It didn't help me mop faster at night having water coming in. We got awesome retro flooring still that we're hoping to be in our future of, <laughs> of updating. Um, it's just been, it's been a list of challenges. The roof was a big one and there's a lot of things here that we want to preserve the history but definitely update still. One of my favorite things about Freeport is it's just a small, unique town. There's so many little things to do. There's the art studio, there's little places to go and eat lunch. There's so many cute little parks. Like every, I love walking my dog around town because you never know what you're gonna see next. And like there's, you know, antique stained glass windows places that you just aren't gonna see anywhere else um, that, that make the town pretty and unique. And it's like a exploring every day to see what else it has to offer. Maybe, maybe just talk about like what's a, a, an area or a building in Freeport that you like. I like Scott Scuba Service. <laughs> it's my favorite building in Freeport. I think the building's along High Street. So even on the other side of the street, there's so many cute little storefronts that you know you just you can see from our windows. And I look at every day, and I, they have so much potential. And they're such a cute boutique space. And I think with the right facelift, they could be really great. Yeah. It's it's really convenient with how close the river and even Buffalo Creek is, because not only does it give us, I mean. The, the Butler Freeport Trail is my favorite thing to bike and run on. And you're right along the creek, but the river's right here and we have boaters and we can go diving in it if we want. And we get people all the time who come in and, can you help me find my watch I dropped off the side of my boat? Or they're looking for something that they need us to go down and find. Um, but it gives us an opportunity just to get under the water more, which is what we really want to do. When Jenny started working here, actually I've always been self-employed. I'm a, a farrier by trade, which those of you that don't know what a farrier is, it is a horse shoer, somebody that puts shoes on horses. Uh, something I got into right out of high school because grew up with horses and always had horses. Uh, so as we got more involved here at the shop, and especially since we've, we've bought it, I've been cutting back more and more to devote time here. Uh, but it is something that I still do part time, uh, something I really enjoy. Um, but. Running the dive center is definitely... Becoming a priority. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot easier on my back, so. <laughs> we didn't realize how quickly we'd need two managers and not just one. We've had some pretty great growth, but the horseshoe and business certainly supports all the renovations we've been doing here. <laughs>